Okay, in this movie I'd like to talk about the command panel, which is over on the right hand side of your interface. And in the, inter in the command panel, it's broken up into different areas. Now the first one here, which is this uh, uh, golden star, is the create panel. And this is where you create, where well, you can create geometry, shapes, lights, cameras, helpers, uh, space walls and systems. So I'll quickly just go through each one. So you use this quite a lot, of course, and you also use the modify tab next to it. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, create panel. So you can come in here and you get a selection of different objects you can create. Um, you also notice there's a, a, a roll down here and it gives you other things to create. So at the moment it's standard primitives. You could go to extended primitives, which is different shapes here. Um, you can go to compound objects, which is again um, uh, booleans and things in here which you'll learn about later on in your course uh, particle systems, grids, doors, nerve services etc um, stairs can be all created in there so there's a drop down list to most of these things so I'll go back to standard primitives and I'll very quickly create a box just so you see okay so there's a box created now um, the next one along is your uh, shapes. Now shapes are lines and circles um, and things like that which you can actually uh, modify and give them surfaces and stuff. So you know you can create lines like so. Okay, splines as they call them. So there's a creation of those and circles, there's arcs, there's text, this is where you create text etc. So these are what they call shapes in here. There's also a drop down list in there and you can also create nerve curves and extended splines. So a number of different splines you can create in under the shapes tab. The next one along is your lights. Now the lights um, you've got again a drop down list where you've got photometric or standard lights so you can create standard or photometric lights in here so I'll very quickly create an omni light there okay so you can create lights and when you do that you'll notice that most of these things have uh, a lot more extended out um, areas so we'll get into that in a minute so I'll just control Z that light then onto the cameras, you've got cameras. So here again, you've got standard, only standard. In your drop down, you've got target and a free camera. And then of course, when I create that, all sorts of stuff happens. You've got helpers here. You've got uh, helpers for tape measures, etc., and grids. Um, where you can put the grids on and off there. Uh, next one along is your space warps. Space warps is where you can um, create effects basically on your objects and make them blow up etc and then there's systems where you can create bones uh, um, daylight sunlight systems so uh, yeah so you create all your creation objects you can do in these tags down just there okay so that moving right along and I'm just going to create my box again so you can see that like so You'll see that we've got another tab there, which is called the Modifier tab. Now, those two tabs you use the most. Now, the Modifier tab um, basically is where you can modify your object. So, if you select an object, whatever you've made here, you can then go in here and actually s select that object and change the size. And you can use the dials here, for instance, to change the size. Um, while we were there, the command panel has this thing here called the modifier. We call it the modifier stack. And this actually puts on, uh, starts off with the object that you started with, and then puts on the different modifiers in a stacking order. Uh, you, this is uh, where you do a lot of work, and um, we'll show you in the, I will show you in the next video how you actually create things and how you can modify, use the modifier list to uh, move things around, change your object basically. So that's a modifier stack that's in there. And again, like you can change uh, the segments, etc. in there. So that's a modifier stack on the box there. 
Um, if I go along here to the next one, the hierarchies chart, this is where you can change uh, effect pivot points and objects and um, edit it in like a working object which is kind of like a make-believe one for the moment that you're working with and things like that anyway so it's about pivot points in this area here um, you've also got IK where IK is about um, bone structures etc and then you've got some more link information in here lock particular things etc so there's a little tool that you'll use a bit the next one along moving along from the hierarchy is the motion tab and the motion tab this is where you can put in um, um, work with motions curve editors and um, uh, helpers assign controllers and just remember that in each one of these tabs there's usually a little there's a little uh, plus sign that means it can be opened up so they can be quite big these tabs the next one along there is your display so you can change the way things are displayed in here and you see how I'm grabbing it in a clear spot like that and I left click left click right click I get a different menu but left click I get a little hand and I can move it up and roll it up and down the other thing you can do with the display while I'm there is that you can actually click on the edge of it click and hold it and drag it out and you can have a two panel display or three panel display so I click it back in there like that for more real estate I'll go back to the top okay so uh, that's uh, where were we we were in the um, display panel and uh, the next one along is utilities panels this is where you can put in um, plugins etc uh, and other bits and pieces and other, piece, other bits and pieces so that's a um, utilities panel so back to create panel um, basically like, there's a box I've created and I'll just very quickly create something for every single one of these tabs just to show you let's do a circle I'll create the circle in the front view there's a circle um, the next one along I'll just control Z the next one along is a light so a light let's just do it target spotlight and I'll show you how that's created and there's your light there target spotlight um, the next one along is your camera where you can do a target camera very similar there's a camera so you can take videos and as again you can see all the drop down list is quite huge there different types of lenses and things um, that's your camera helpers well there's a tape measure that's nice and easy I can measure point in space to another point in space and get measurements over here in the panel in the parameters panel and space warps well these you have to see in the final product but you can they're kind of like helpers and stuff gravity and things so we won't worry about that and here well, we could probably get out here and do a bone perhaps uh, there's a bone so there's a bone okay so you can see that that first panel there oops that first panel there the create panel that one there you can create all those different objects thank you